in order to be able to communicate what is happening on an EKG, the parts of the EKG had to be labeled. The first deflection is called the P wave. The subsequent usually large deflection is referred to as the QRS complex. The next deflection is labeled as a T wave. So we have a P wave, a QRS complex, and a T wave. Looking at the part here that's not labeled, we have a P wave, a QRS complex, and a T wave. The area from the P wave to the QRS complex is referred to as the PR interval. The area from the QRS complex to the T wave is referred to as the S segment. The distance from the Q wave to the end of the T wave is referred to as the QT interval. Now that we have labeled the EKG, we can now explain what each part of the EKG represents. The P wave is when the atrium contract. That's the top portion of the heart. The QRS is when the ventricle contracts. So the electrical impulse begins in the atrium, the upper part of the heart. The upper part of the heart contracts, forming the P wave. It progresses through the AV node into the ventricles, causing the ventricles to contract. The ventricle is a large muscle. The atrium is a small muscle therefore its deflection is small for the P wave the ventricle is larger as you can see the P wave normal time is 0.10 seconds the PR interval that's the distance from the P wave to the R wave in here represents the slowing of the electrical impulse as it goes through that AV node before going into the ventricles. The normal time from the P wave to the R wave is 0.12 to 0.19 seconds. The QRS complex normal time is 0 0.04 seconds to 0 0.11 seconds. Now the ST segment is at the end of ventricular depolarization and the beginning of ventricular repolarization. Normally the ST segment should not vary on the baseline more than 0 0.1 millivolt which is one millimeter or the same as one small box on the graph paper. The ST segment should not be elevated greater than one box also. It should not be depressed more than a half of a box below the baseline. When we're trying to figure out where the baseline is, we usually use the PR segment to represent the baseline. Here would be the PR and the ST would be here. The T wave represents ventricular repolarization. The QT interval is the length of time for the ventricle depolarization to repolarization cycle. The normal time is 0.36 seconds to 0.44 seconds and it should be less than half the distance of the RR distance. Going back to our graph, 
the PR interval here, this baseline is used to measure where the ST should be. The QT interval, remember we said it should be less than half of the RR interval. So this distance from the Q to the end of the T wave should be less than half of the distance between one R wave to the next R wave. In this example, we have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 small boxes. Therefore, the QT interval should be less than half of that. And if we measure here, we get a QT interval of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, approximately 8 boxes, which is less than half.